Hello, I'm Ian Matthew, Technical Marketing Manager with Autodesk Plant Solutions. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to some of the new features in AutoCAD Plant 3D 2012. First, we'll talk briefly about three features, Report Creator, Improved Isometrics, and Improved Performance. We'll explore those features in detail in other videos in this series. Then we'll cover the sum of the changes to the Project Manager. Plant 3D 2012 now supports SQL databases and I'll show you how you can set up a database when you create a new project. While piping, I'll show you how the tool palette updates automatically when you select a new spec. Then shifting to AutoCAD PNID, we'll take a look at how simple it is to add multiple symbols. Finally, we'll take a brief look at converting CADWorks specs in the spec editor. So now, let's take a look at the new standalone report creator that's installed as part of AutoCAD Plant 3D. Let's create a quick report. First, double click on the report creator icon on your desktop. Next, select a project. We'll choose the sample project. From the configuration list, we'll choose 3D parts to create a bill of materials. We want the project data. I'll click Print Export. The report is generated as a PDF. I'll open it and there you are. As you can see, creating a report is really quite simple. In the separate Report Creator video, you'll learn more about modifying reports and creating new ones. And now, let's take a look at the new isometrics. There's a separate video which will describe how to configure isometrics, but here we'll go ahead and actually create an isometric for you. We've opened the model from the sample project and now let's click on the isometric drawing tab and select which style of isometrics we want to create. We select the line and now that we want a production ISO. A dialog box that comes up allows us to go ahead and make some changes to the default style. We've selected it and now in the background the isometric has been created. Now we select the drawing that we want to look at and we can display the isometric. So here we are this is an AutoCAD isometric. It's fully compatible with AutoCAD and editing is easily done. Okay, so now let's take a look at some of the improved performance uh, that's now available in Plant 3D 2012. On the home ribbon we have an area visibility and here we have some toggles. Let's take a look at the uh, disconnect toggle first of all, the disconnect marker. Here, the, this is actually what's going to control showing the teardrop when a plant is disconnected. Turning this on will have an impact on your performance. So for faster performance, turn this off. Another performing factor is also that of looking at insulation. So here we select the toggle insulation display. When we turn this on, additional graphics work is done in order to display the insulation as we see here. To improve performance, turn this off. And now let's look at some of the other things that we have available. The toggle placeholder display will show whether or not placeholders are actually in use. This is the exclamation mark. We can also control the type of display that's being shown. Wireframe obviously gives us higher performance graphically. Select 2D wireframe for faster performance, or if you want a more realistic view, select the realistic view. Okay, so now let's move on to the next feature. Let's take a look at a few new changes to the project manager that make file management easier. First, I'll show you the new alphanumeric order of all drawings and folders. Here in the sample project, I've created a new folder called Equipment, and I've added three drawings to it, A tank, B tank, and D tank. The drawings are now always shown in alphanumeric order. Of course, the same is also true for folders. And now, taking a look at folders, I can move folders too. I can change the folder structure. Now I've made Equipment part of piping, as you can see or I can move it back to the same level by simply popping it upwards. Again, the folders are always displayed in alphanumeric order. Now let's take a look at moving files around 
As we see, it's very easy to move files from folder to folder, simply drag them in the project manager. Best of all, we can now rename drawings. You simply click on the rename drawing in the right after right clicking and this dialog box allows us to actually change not only the name of the drawing in the project manager but also the drawing name in Windows Explorer. Make the change. Of course as we change a file name any reference or xrefs will be broken. Okay now let's move on to the next new feature in project manager. In Plant 3D 2012 we now have a mechanism built in which allows us to use an external database to do this, we simply go and create a new project, and then going through the wizard, as you see here, we by selecting the name, and the part, the the type of units, the type of PID settings, the directory settings, we get to the specified database settings. At this point, we select SQL Express to use an external database. At this point, if we have an ex Express database attached, it will go and look for it, and we can test that we have a valid connection by simply pressing the test connection button. So now we've gone ahead and done that, and we can now simply add a database name prefix so we know which part of that database belongs to this project. We can t type this in, or we can have it automatically generated. And at this point now, we simply select Finish to finish off the creation of the database. And from now on, we are using an external database for this project, rather than SQLite. Okay, now let's look at the next new feature in Plant 3D 2012, Dynamic Tool Palettes. Here we open the file and you'll see a change as soon as you open a piping module that shows the dynamic spec as a tool palette over on the left -hand, right hand side, as you see here. The spec that is shown is always going to be the active spec. When we open the file, it will check, and only the components that are in the spec will be shown in the tool palette. If I then go ahead and change the spec, as you see here, the spec will automatically be regenerated, and only those components in the new spec that's currently active will be allowed to be placed. Another new feature in Plant 3D, PNID, uh, 2012 is adding multiple symbols. Let's take a look at how easy it is to add many symbols at once when you're working in AutoCAD PNID. I've opened the project setup and now I want to add a few ISO standard valve symbols to augment the PIP standard ones that are in this project. I've expanded the tree so we can see the PIP valves. And here we see them. I select the type of valve that I want. First a check valve. I add, put that in the add list, and now I can select any other valves that I want, in this case a diaphragm. I've added that. So the next thing I go is I actually update the class definitions. So I select which type of valves they are, in this case it's a check valve. I give the symbol a name, in this case ISO check valve. And I'll do the same for the next valve, the diaphragm. Give it a symbol name. Again, selecting what type of valve that's going to be to give it a class definition. And once I've done the name, I simply click on Finish for all of the symbols. And now all of my valves are added into my current library. As we see here, I have two types of check valve available to me. I also have two types of ISO of diaphragm valve. So now the next feature, new in Plant 3D 2012. In the spec editor, we can now automatically convert CAD works specs. So we'll start off by opening the AutoCAD Plant 3D spec editor. I'll pick Convert CAD works specs from the file menu, and then in the Convert dialog box, I'll click the Add button. I find the spec that I want, CS300, and click Open. Then I tell the converter where the CAD works library is, where the TBL file is located, and finally I select the folder for my converted CAD work specs. I click Convert and watch while the program converts each spec. 
So here we go. Those in yellow are the ones that are actually not correct. And we can go back and look at those and see why they are. When we look at this, we see we've got a 98.44% conversion. We now need to look at the report to see where this is. Finally, here's the spec that we've created. And we can open it as a plant 3D spec, which is once we've fixed all of the convert items that have not converted, will be ready for use. Now that you've seen the new features in AutoCAD Plant 3D 2012, I hope you'll take a look at our other Getting Started videos. Thank you for watching.